Hi, I'm Art Ortega. I'm the Director of Hop Extraction and Regulatory Compliance for Yakima Chief Hops. We're here to tour the extract plant as well as the packaging plant, so come follow me. Hi, we're at the mill room right now, the extract plant. Before we go on to the tour, I want to introduce Pablo Nava. Pablo uh, is our 20-year employee. He's our plant lead for the extract plant. Say hi, Pablo. Hi, everyone. Do you want to talk about the uh, mill room or? No, I'll let you talk, Art. Oh, okay. I guess I'll be doing most of the talking. Hi, we're at the mill room right now where we typically stage our pellets. After staging, we will then take the raw pellets and put it into our lower bin, eventually transfer it into the extract room inside the extractor vessel. And then after extraction uh, online time of about four hours, we will then vacuum dispense and transfer it into the gray bin for repelletization. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about our fairly new CO2 recovery plant. We're essentially taking the vented CO2 gas that would otherwise go into atmosphere. Uh, instead, we're collecting it into these two buffer tanks. We got a high pressure and a low pressure buffer tank. At the end of that cycle, we are producing beverage grade CO2 at an average of about 565 kilos per extractor. The efficiency of the system is 90%. Pablo, we'll see you later. Let's go check out the extract plant. So from the uh, mill room, the raw pellets are transferred on the upper bin. And from the upper bin, we can divert the flow of the pellets in any of our three extractors. Each extractor holds about 2,000 pounds of raw material. That's roughly an acre of hops or about 10 bales. From the extractor, the product will come out and flow. It will then be filtered by any of our two uh, high pressure inline filter. From the heat exchanger, we're heating that extract further. And as it goes into our next vessel, that's where we get the separation of CO2 gas and the extract product. The extract will drop below the vessel. Typically, we'll leave it about a third full to allow it to continually gas off. Meanwhile, the CO2 gas will go, come down to this pipe and it will get recondensed re back into liquid for reuse. Hi, we're now uh, here in packaging, but before we continue with the process, I just want to quickly introduce to you Javier Serrano. Javier is our packaging supervisor and he has been with us for the last 20 years. Javi, say hi to the camera. Thanks, Javi. The extract from the other room will then go to any of our four product tanks above. From there, we can package the extract into our tins or in drums. These are the different tin sizes that we carry. As you can see, we have a four kilo, a three kilo that would fit in that box. And then you have our half kilo and one kilo that would fit in this box. And then here's our two kilo tin that would fit into this uh, packaging. Along with our extract tin containers, we also have some advanced products here with our Tetra and ISO 30. These are samples of the hop extract that we produce at our facility. Thank you for joining us in this tour of the extract plant, the CO2 recovery plant, and our packaging room. Hope to see you guys soon after the COVID situation is done. Thank you.